In this episode of Surprising Players in Fantasy Hockey, I will be talking about Yarmir Yager and UC Jokinen. Both players were supposed to serve as mentors for the Panthers' young players at the beginning of the season. However, as the season progressed, both players turned out to be two of their more productive players all season long. Yarmir Yager has arguably been the best story in hockey this season, next to John Scott winning the All-Star Game MVP. How Yager is still able to produce at such a high level is just mystifying. It's not like Yager was just a solid player for the Panthers, he was their leading point getter. At the beginning of the season, Yager was ranked 169th overall, which means he was likely drafted anywhere between the 13th and 15th round in the draft. You would think that playing alongside Huberto and Barkov in Florida would make Yager seem slow, but however, he's actually looked faster than he was in Boston and New Jersey. Regardless of when Yager actually finally decides to hang it up, he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, without a doubt. At the end of the season, Yager was owned in 72% of Yahoo leagues and was ranked 55th overall. Although UC Jokinen doesn't get anywhere near the media attention that Yarmir Yager does, he has quietly been having one of his best years of his career. What makes UC Jokinen so valuable in fantasy hockey is that he can play all four positions. He can play center, left wing, and right wing. This gives you the flexibility to play him at any of the four positions. Before the season started, Jokinen was ranked 277th overall, which means he wasn't likely drafted, or if he was, he was likely drafted very late in a deep league. At the end of the season, Jokinen was owned in 60% of Yahoo leagues and was ranked 63rd overall. These two players are just two examples of players that show age is just a number. This also goes to prove that you cannot overlook savvy veterans on a team full of core players ready to take off. Next episode of Surprising Players in Fantasy Hockey, I'll be talking about Brent Burns and Chris Letang.